Prepare to attack. Select your hero. Hello. Yo. Oi, Snoop, mate. Oi, Snoop. Snoop, mate. <laughs> Snoop. Can you get gold for him, mate? <laughs> she ain't even fucking possible. <laughs> the true enemy of humanity ah. is the soul. Snoop. <laughs> Snoop, are you gonna respond to me? Healing Snoop! <laughs> what the damn? My feet feel just like lead! Attack commences in 30 seconds. Do you guys want to run under or just go up? Let's go through the street! Let's go oh, oh, through the street! Yeah! Let's be boost through the bus at the street. Understood. Where we get to the bus, we should proceed and speed boost through their team. Put your shield up so soldiers can't kill us, then we'll kill the rest of them. Don't worry, just trust me and we'll win. Don't worry about anything. We'll win the game while we're going up top. Why the fuck we going up top? We are throwing. We are throwing. Maybe not. Why the fuck is Snoop so bad? He's gold bothering master and he's so bad he I don't fucking understand. Why don't we go to the street put your shield up right in mid? Alright, put your shield up, mate. Turn it up! Messy behind us. We have to get someone on high ground for that top turret. Yeah, Snoop should be dealing with the fucking turret, but he's not, because he's fucking retarded. You can do it as well, man. Me? Yeah. He's the fucking auto against the turret with the recall. Why would I go up there? Because you can, and you can help him. I'm not helping him. Hello. He's a fucking tracer. If he wants to take tracer, he can do his job properly. <laughs> You're <Eureka>, man. <laughs> oh, so you want me to go? Uh, if you want to. Nah, you should not get done, What the fuck? Oh, oh, put your shield up, Khan! Shut up, man. There's no one here. It's like, there's no damage behind it. Put your shield up! There's no damage behind us, man. I'm teaching you a lesson. Up? Put your shield up when I say. Fuck you, I'm going. Oh, finally, someone listens to me. Okay, let's go up. Oh, fucking get, get fucking reverse psychology. I don't really like you, man. Alright, I'm guessing you want to lose, so I don't care. Teleporter online. Oh, yes. I'm Where's Charlie? What's your name? Protect it. Wait for me to reach it. Hey, grab it. I can't do it. Hey, grab it, Charlie. Oh, we got pigs. Let's get it. Wait, Charlie's still off. Yeah. Double. 
Yeah, the boys. Sharp calm. I don't like this blue guy. He doesn't deserve to win. There's a telly for log. What do you mean? We just can't. The tower is on right now. There's Mercy behind us. We should just leave power now. It's all free. Fuck. Bubble me, bubble me. Intruder detected. McCree's not letting me leave spawn. Are you serious? <laughs> it's so easy to do that, but fucking kill him crazy. Frag one. Thank you. Yeah, I'm gonna jump down and bother to kill him all. Three. I'm grabbed. One, done. Yep, so Offensive easy. Metro OP. Shut fucking child. My ultimate is charging. Fucking I'm fuck. Bubble. Fuck. Let's get you healed up. Shoot me! You fucking shit! I was fucking shit at you, you retard. Oh, did you? I'm gonna like hack. No, you didn't! I fucking watched the fucking replay. <laughs> Suck it. You fucking liar. Yeah, <laughs> you fucking cheat. Oh, okay, I got you. How many of you guys alive, bro? Oh, wait, is Tracer free? Alright, I'm playing Tracer after I kill is an illusion. I killed their fire, let's go. Let's go, please. Oh, Are you oh my god. I just want to bubble with a shield just once in my life. Like from the deeper or something. I vault. Give me a bubble, but I got a uh, shadow. Yeah, I, no, no need to shadow. I'm just gonna ult. You guys have to get ready. Bubble me when I jump down, right? You have to bubble me, otherwise the prison is dummy. You ready? On the count of three, two, one. Just like this. There you go, boys. There you go, boys. Distraction is real. Who's playing half of the TP? This guy is the worst tally place, it's apart from the first point. Actually, no, the first point was pretty bad. I don't know how they didn't get that. Oh, 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 I have grab, but I don't know what you're using now. Hey, yeah, just reset. Don't, just get out. 60 seconds remaining. Greetings! Thank you! Align defense system. Is that out? No, they, they did it from behind. Ah! Oh, there's a reset. Why? So one, Why one. did we go here? No, 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 no. I got shot from behind. So, everyone backed out with you. Someone's hand for me. Oh, 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 oh,
getting shielded and buffled and stuff? It's my favorite thing in the world. Snoop, you're literally the most retarded person in the world. Like, you gold border and you don't even know how your hero works. You're not right clicking anything, you're doing nothing. No, man, you need to calm down a little bit. And I don't care if I win or lose, I'm trying to get people to understand what they're doing wrong, but no one wants to listen. Yeah, it's because you sound like an idiot, so no one wants to listen to you. Oh, uh, well, you know what? Select your hero. Like, if you, if you, like, if you tell them how to, like, do better in, like, a productive way, they're more likely look, to listen. Look, man, look, I, I just want to fucking marry, alright? Yeah, if we're running Symmetra, we only yeah, need okay. one healer. Get another tank, get a diva. Yeah, nice, let's go, go diva. Go diva! Lucio, you get down, no? No. Uh, diva! Lucio, just play, play Lucio, it's cool. Uh, then, no, Lucio go Anna, Anna go diva. Yeah, we only need, we only need one healer for a Symmetra farm. I would prefer a, uh, Anna though. Get a diva or I'm playing a proper hero. This place is the worst! Let's turn it into one big scrappy. That was fine. Your mom's fine. Cause we can't stop. And we won't stop. Uh, Oh, honey. Excuse me. Attackers incoming in 30 seconds. Just to let you know, I've, I've muted you, so if you say something, just someone else tell me. Thank you. Oh, I'm throwing now. Tell them to unmute me or I'm throwing. Tell them to unmute me or I'm throwing. If he doesn't unmute me, I'm. Two, one. Uh -huh. Attackers incoming. Uh -huh. Defend objective. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Trace Anders behind her. Uh -huh. My defenses. We're out there. Winston's back. Winston's sleeping. Why do we chase this? Here? We need to protect the objective. Chase on one point. <sighs> Soldier, this come out. This will help. Soldier, come out. Soldier, come out. Me. Fuck. Oh, okay. I'll just get those two picks and we all just lose the point. That, 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 that's okay. I like that. Can you put that teleport up right now, please? Can you get the teleport up right now?
I will follow my path. Everyone on the objective. Objective lost. I, I got fast one up here. Well. My defenses are weakened. Turret online. You got this here, bro. Next Hello there. Understood. Let's get you Come on. Detected. You're covered. Walk it off. Oh. 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 Uh, uh, nah. It's uh, 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 Their mercy's dead. Yeah, they reset. Yeah, cause I'm the fucking best and I made them. I made my bitch. I made this nigga my bitch. They're like, oh fuck it, bitch. It be real good. And I'm like, yeah, you my bitch, nigga. And they're like, oh fuck. Oh, oh, oh. I'm your bitch. I'm like, yeah, you my bitch, and they're like, oh, oh, shit, I'm your bitch. Oh, fuck, I'm dead. Oh, 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 Clear out that. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, okay. oh, 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 okay. oh, oh, okay. oh, 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 I, I'm not with some of that healing, please. Okay, I'm gonna go flank him. Don't worry, my friend. I have your shield. Uh oh. I threw. I'm probably gonna boost his symmetric, so symmetric can stay close. No, boost the rock. Okay. Bomb? No. Boost me. I'm coming. Why don't I bomb? Rocket barrage incoming! Ah, it's hard. Together, we are strong. Barrier zone is support. You're powered up. Get in there. This is still too hard, dude. Here's our mercy. I have a bad. Oh, 
He slapped me, trying to wake him. Hey, Jones. This boy is so lucky. You're so lucky I didn't give up. You're so fucking lucky. I was like, you know what? I didn't even care if I lose. I didn't even care if I lose. And then I was like, you know what? These, these are the bad boys. Get in there. You know what I mean? You know, hey, quantum, quantum, you know what I mean? I was asking myself, you know, I don't give a fuck if I lose, because this boy was rude to me. Yeah, I can. I, I can, but, you know, I, I was like, yeah, I don't care if these boys lose. But then I'm like, hey, why not win? I, I, what do you mean? You could add me as a friend. You know? You, you could add me. That's like, oh, that's okay. That's okay. I appreciate that. You got fast. I, I, I appreciate that. Hey, don't worry. Don't worry about it. I'm happy that I didn't, that I didn't give up now. Because you got master. I, that's okay. Good job. I, I wish you luck, okay? So for the rest of the video now, I'll be responding to some comments I get on YouTube. If you want to skip to certain topics or sections, then I'll have timestamps in the description box below. So for the first thing I want to talk about is, does she actually take skill? I see this topic flying around a lot, and my answer to that is, no. Mechanically, she doesn't take all that much skill, because obviously she doesn't need to aim. The only thing you can really say that takes mechanical skill is her shield, maybe, but you could probably say the same with a Zenyatta ultimate or maybe a Diva Matrix shield because you can probably stop Earth Shatters or Zarya ultimate if you have the reaction time. You may have seen in my comment section that people are standing up for Symmetra and saying that her skills are knowledge based, so things like positioning, awareness, etc. Of course, you can say that with all the heroes since all heroes have their own unique set of skills, but I like to compare Symmetra with heroes like Reinhardt and Mercy. You don't really need to aim as much, but things like positioning are more important on those heroes, so even though they don't need to aim, there are differences in good and bad Reinhardt, Mercy, and Symmetra players. Am I saying that it takes much effort or skill to be a good Symmetra? No, I'm just saying that there is a difference between a good and a bad one like the rest of the heroes. I guess another thing is that Symmetra does take some game knowledge and positioning to flank, but that can also be said for heroes like Farah. Most people will probably agree that Symmetra is useless in attack, but if someone can make it work, then shouldn't that be considered skill, even if it's just like a little? Now before you jump at me, I'm not saying that a Grandmaster Symmetra is on the same level as a Grandmaster Farah. Like other Grandmaster mains definitely have more skill than us Symmetra mains, but the thing is, why does it really matter? I play Overwatch for fun, not to be the best player with the most skill. I know it's easy to misunderstand the point of my videos because I'm not talking in them, but I'm not putting up these montages to sound like I'm some god that has so much skill. I never claim that I'm good or that I'm so much better than everyone else because of my rank. I see a lot of sarcastic comments saying things like, wow, you're so good at holding down left click. And I just don't see the point in those comments because it's not like I ever said or was trying to say that I was doing anything amazing. I put up these videos because you don't always need skill to win. You just need to be useful. Do you see the difference? Some people in the comments sort of devalue my ranking because I play Symmetra and no aim heroes. But isn't this one thing that makes Overwatch so successful? People who have little first person shooter experience like myself can still enjoy the game and climb. Sure, you might think that I suck, which is totally fine, because I agree, I absolutely suck at shooter games, but there are so many other people that play Overwatch that suck as well. Without the shitty players that can't aim like myself, Overwatch wouldn't be as successful as it is right now, which then means everyone else, 
including you that's watching, won't be able to enjoy as many new features and high quality content that Blizzard is pumping out. The way that I see it is that everyone benefits. Shitty players like me can have fun on quote unquote no skill heroes, and people who are good, including those who think they're good, will have more updates from Blizzard. Again, I never said I was a good player. Every time one of my friends say, you must be really good because you're Grandmaster, I always respond with, no, I'm actually not that good because all I play is Symmetra and Mercy. I'm actually really bad at aiming. This leads to another reason for my videos, which is that if I can climb with garbage aiming, then anyone can. I've seen some videos of Carefree's Widowmaker, and I'm like, what the hell? This guy's insane. He's so good. There's no way I can play like him. Not that I aim to be a good Widow player, but I do see a lot of people being inspired to be just like Carefree's Widowmaker, or Seagull's Genji, or DPS Stanky's Lucio. But for the majority of us, they're simply way too good for us, and it's unlikely that we'll even come close to being as good as them. As for me, I see comments of people being inspired to be like my Symmetra, and it's great because I don't do much. I don't make flashy mechanical outplays. I just left click like some of you guys have sarcastically said that I was amazing at, which means it's quite an achievable goal to play like me. My videos show that you can climb and succeed without needing to be a good aimer, that you can climb playing any hero you want because it's so like you, anything can happen. You just gotta remember that hardcore players are the minority, not every casual player has the time to dedicate to Overwatch. The next section is in regards to my previous video. Now something that people noticed within my previous video was that I used clips of my SI increasing to Grandmaster, but mainly showing quick play clips. I want to clarify here that all my ranked games came from my other Symmetra video, so the one which was 17 minutes long. I didn't put SI increase in that video because I grouped the clips in terms of playstyle and maps, rather than making a continuous climb to Grandmaster. I wasn't serious with the SI increase of my previous video. I wasn't trying to fool people or try to be sneaky. Like, I knew people were going to question my SI increase because of the quick play clips, so I tried to make it obvious that I wasn't serious with the SI increase. I had the clips just lying around and I just wanted to use them. I legit put SI increase right after the clip of me left clicking robots in the training room, hoping people would realize that I was sort of trolling. But Obviously it didn't work, so I'm sorry for that, and I do want to say that the point of my previous video wasn't to show clips of me killing people in ranked, or that I was super good at the game. It was to show that the true Symmetra experience in ranked mode is people telling you to swap off on attack. My next section is, when should you swap off Symmetra? Now, I want to start off by saying, don't let people bully you off Symmetra or any other hero for that matter. Play what you enjoy if you honestly believe that you're doing fine and you're being useful for the team. You should swap when you've honestly believed that you can have a higher chance of winning with something else. Your teammates aren't always right, so don't listen to them without thinking. Also, swapping a hero isn't going to magically make you win games. If swapping heroes was all it took to win, then we'd all be Grandmaster. Sure, swapping to a Soldier 76 could potentially increase your chances of winning slightly versus something like Farah, provided that you can aim, but a hero swap isn't going to magically carry everything. Like, it's not going to carry a Lucio that stays on healing only and in one spot, and it's like it's not going to carry a Reinhardt that lets down his shield just so he can suicide charge into the team. It's also not going to carry a DPS on your team that gets hooked and dies every 10 seconds and then blames his team for not being grouped with him. I'm not saying that the Symmetra attack is the best thing. There are definitely better heroes to use to attack. I'm just saying that there is only so much that every hero can do to carry, which also means that there's only so much blame you can place on a hero for losing. The next section is how do you get better at Symmetra? Recently, I played quick play with someone that watches my videos. Yes, that's you, Imagimo. And I sort of did a bit of coaching and gave him some tips while he was playing. So one thing that he asked me, and something that you guys ask, is how do you get better at Symmetra? The only answer, which is going to be quite generic, is you just have to play her, even in the bad situations. You won't learn until you get enough experience. When you play Symmetra on attack, You'll learn what paths are the best and how to play an aggressive style. Something I noticed with this guy was 
While I was coaching him, he was too afraid to go in into the enemy squishies and left click. He would rather stay mid range to right click because he didn't want to completely retreat, but he didn't also want to completely commit. So if he plays more in these situations, even if they're bad situation, he's going to learn that to go in on their backline, you'll need to use your shield and just run at them fearlessly. In Grandmaster, I expect better aim from my enemies, so I have to be more careful with my approach, whereas in Bronze, I expect much more worse aiming, so I can run at them easily. Not that I play in Bronze or have a smurf, but you have to be the judge in these situations, which can only happen when you have the experience from playing. Some people are going to think that this is selfish, that you're willing to lose games so you can learn a hero, but this is only true if you have been climbing with other heroes and then randomly decide to just main Symmetra. Of course you'll lose points doing this, and I'll come back to this later, but once you stabilize onto a rank that you deserve, let's say Silver as an example, then it shouldn't matter if you play Symmetra on attack. People shouldn't be blaming the loss on the Symmetra attack because they're in the same rank as you. You may not be quite useful, but guess what? Neither are your teammates. They're obviously doing something wrong if they're in silver with you. So this next section is about learning new heroes. Some people tell me that I'm selfish and I should learn more heroes, but the thing is, where am I going to practice these heroes? I can't in competitive anymore because my heroes aren't close to being grandmaster level. I, I can sort of do it in quick play, which I do, but quick play is a joke because not everyone takes it seriously. Like, not even I take it seriously. So, can you really learn Reinhardt in quick play and then do well in Grandmaster? I don't think so. I can probably practice my aim in general, but aiming isn't going to just get good overnight. Those games in which I truly believe that I'm getting wrecked by a Farah or Tracer happen very rarely. People don't seem to understand that the very good players have had a lot of FPS experience in the past, which transfers over into Overwatch. I don't have those experiences. Most of my experience comes from MOBA games like League of Legends. It's why I try to play in the Pro League for League of Legends and casually for Overwatch. In quick play, I usually play heroes that require some aiming to practice, but for me to actually become decent at aiming would take many hours of practice that I wouldn't enjoy. And what is it for? Just so I can whip out a Soldier 76 once every 30 games because I get heavily counted? Like, people also say that you shouldn't play ranked if you can only play a few heroes, that it puts your team at a disadvantage, but my response to that is if I'm winning and I'm climbing, then why does it matter? Let's say that Asymmetra has a 66% win rate, meaning she wins two games for every one loss. This was my case when I reached Grandmaster for Season 3. That is of course quite good, but it doesn't tell you the whole story. They're just numbers. I'm not a fool. I can admit that in those 33% of games lost, it can either be mainly because of the Symmetra pick, or because the enemy team was just better overall. In saying this, in those 66% of games won, it can be again mainly because of the Symmetra pick, or because my team was just better overall. People are usually fine with blaming the Symmetra for the loss, but not so much with thanking the Symmetra for the win. If you're going to say that the Symmetra just got carried 66% of the time, then there's no reason to swap and learn new heroes because she's getting carried, she's winning. In the end, does it really matter that I lose a few games here and there because of the Symmetra pick if I can just win more afterwards? Like, isn't it cool to see one-trick ponies having high ranks? I remember seeing a guy on Reddit that got to top 500 playing only Bastion, and this was the old Bastion, so before the rework. I love seeing these types of players. When I saw this guy on Reddit, I got quite excited. Even though this guy was a Bastion main, it still inspired me to continue maining Symmetra. It was proof that you can climb with seemingly useless heroes if you know how to use them well. Some people are going to complain about disadvantaging your team, but if this Bastion is climbing, he's clearly winning and doing work. I think we need more of these players. It'd be so cool to see some more Torbjorn or Sombra one-trick ponies climb to Grandmaster. These are the type of players that actually inspire other players to do the same. This last section is going to be very important for you aspiring Symmetra mains out there. If you climb really well with heroes that don't have many transferable skills, then you'll find it very difficult to go back and practice other heroes. 
So what I mean is if you main Soldier 76 and climb really well with him, then you're fine because you have good aim and you can transfer that skill to most other heroes. Whereas if you main Symmetra and climb really well with Symmetra, what other hero are you going to fall back onto when you really need to swap? I went over before that you can't get good practice on other heroes because doing it in rank would be asking for a free loss. Your other heroes just can't compete at the current level that you're at. Now I'm not telling you to not main Symmetra, like you do what you want. I'm just warning you that if you do decide to main Symmetra, then you have to be prepared to stick with her forever unless you have a smurf account to practice your other heroes on. So that's all the main stuff I wanted to talk about. I'll be responding to more comments at the end of my full gameplay videos because a lot of misunderstanding and misinterpreting does come from my videos in which I only type. Like people saying that I put up these videos to fuel my ego, which is just not true. If you have any questions, please ask early. It's very easy for your comments to get drowned out unless it's at the top. I'll either be responding back in the comments section or in my next full gameplay video. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.